Okay. So this is Metallica and the Sandman live in 91. So. Um, Droid is saying don't work nights. Oh, Droid user, I'm getting like a $2.50 American um, premium for working overnight. So. Uh, airline. Let's see here before we actually get started. We have this Metallica song. We got Sons of Apollo. Uh, Lord Vigo. Burr. Bandmade, VOC, Alice in Chains, uh, Sabotage, Motley Crue. Um, we'll probably skip over that Megadeth because we just did Megadeth. Yeah. Since we have other bands. Uh, Fire, uh, Firewind, uh, Mentally Blind, and Vopi is what the list is so far. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's get started. Let me bring up the that. And let's go. really good live yeah i well i mean this was like the, this was a brand new song when this was recorded like this was the most recent album when they recorded this oh wow i'm pretty sure at least it was early 90s i think a lot of reload came after we did the official video yeah okay uh let me double check before i song came out 91 so yeah Apparently, the tempo is 123 beats per minute. Wow. According to Wikipedia. 
Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that before, so... Depending on how accurate it is, because <laughs> Wikipedia is not always accurate. 1.2 million people people are saying in chat. That is crazy. That's a lot of people. Um... But then again, that was this is still shortly after the um wall fell, I think. Like the Berlin Wall and everything. Oh, yeah. So like Soviet Union, I think, collapsed. I'm nine December ninety one, so this was like shortly before that then, I think. Um or shortly after. No, it's gotta be before because there's no way you're gonna be in Moscow in December. That's true. Not in t-shirts and tank tops. Yeah, because this looks like a summer. It looks like it. Um, <laughs> so this was like right before the fall then. Um, uh, uh, is that just happening in Russia? Uh, Wikipedia, not Wikipedia. Uh, Reddit's saying 1.6 million. That's still... That's a lot. That's a lot, even. <laughs> um, September 28th. Okay, so that's late summer. <laughs> well, early, like... Still summer, but... Four months before the dissolution of the Soviet Union. So this was a big deal to get Western music in Soviet Union. Like... You know, they weren't very happy with, you know. Well, I, Ronnie, that's not really communism, but we're not going to get into that right now. Yeah. Amber could go on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I enjoy politics, so. I mean, if you want to talk about it later, you know, you can always hit us up on our email and I'll <laughs> chat with you about it. But, uh, yeah, airline, I, um, yeah, you guys are a little bit behind us, so. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah like four months and uh, apparently just a couple of um, there was a coup attempt in the Soviet Union in August. Ooh. So, like, this was just, like, a month later. Wow. That's amazing to have a band like this after a coup attempt. Definitely. Oof. For a dictatorship, that's... And that's why there's so much people there, you know? Probably one of the first Western bands to really make it into the USSR. Interesting. I imagine. I'm probably wrong. I'm sure we're going to get yelled at in the comments, but... I'd imagine it's one of the first few... I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it's a big band like Metallica. And yeah, and they were, I think they were shortly back after like a hiatus too. Ooh. So, yeah, let's finish off the song.
Yeah, that one's pretty good. Yeah. It's weird that they had to, like, did you notice that, like, there was, like, breaks in the crowd, too, where the army had to be, too? Like, there was an army up front. Yeah, I saw and that. And then there was a bunch of crowd, and then there was more army, like, splitting up the crowd. I mean, I guess that's, like, extra... I guess just to help keep the crowd from pushing too much. Yeah. Because you're not going to expect, you know, a handful of, like, maybe two deep guards up front to project for millions of people. Yeah, I was going to say, due to the fact that there were over a million people, like, I can understand that they needed to have a lot more. Yeah. And Ronnie, um, yeah, I would love to see Metallica, but they're too expensive for tickets and, you know, even for the cheapest tickets. Or, uh, like, last time I saw them on tour, like, I looked at it, it was, like, over $100 for a ticket, so. I'm sorry, I'm not paying $100 for nosebleed tickets. <laughs> for $100, I better get a meet and greet out of it. Yeah. Or, like, um, you know, for a bit more, like, when I went on the cruise, that was, like, cheap tickets were, like, $666 per ticket. But that's, you know, a cruise. Yeah, it's a cruise, which is different. And uh, 60 concerts. You can feasibly see every band at least once. Like, they scheduled it perfectly. They so rotated the schedule yeah. enough that you could change yeah. it. Oh, that's good. Like, every concert you could see. You could see every band. No two bands were playing at the exact same time. Nice. Um, oh, this is good. <laughs> Ronnie. Yeah, you're probably one of the older ones here. Maybe not the oldest. $100. VIP Def Leppard. Whew. What? Yeah, even for VIP, that's yeah. a bit much. Yeah, I was going to say that's a lot. Like, I'd probably cap out at like 200 for... Unless it's like, you know, um, you get to spend a day with the band. Then I'd consider paying 800 like, you know, you hey, hang out be, with them for, like, a whole day. So, like, now you wish I'd pay that. that'd be, if I had the money, I'd easily pay that. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, if you actually could, was, I would be like, oh, we got to do that. <laughs> Interesting, Basil. That's cool. Um, yeah, this song was good. Like, the video was great. Um, audio is, like, almost perfect, I'd say. Yeah, I was like, wow. The video, I'd say, was maybe just just touch soft. But considering it was from 91. Then they had to, like, retouch it and everything. That's like, pretty good. That's still pretty good for 91. Wow. It was, well, this is HD, so a little better than. Yeah. But a little better quality. Yeah, uh, so what are you going to give this version? I'm going to give this version an 8.75. I agree, 8.75. Um, because. Like, I'm not going to give take anything off of the video. Yeah, um, I'm not either. The music was like, excellent. Like, it was great. Always. Everybody, so it sounded great. It just awesome. Okay, guys. Um, Please don't forget we have a Patreon and a PayPal. So. Yeah, those links are in the description. So, check it out. And then we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.